Hey, I am Action Jacqueline and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you feel amazing from the inside out. And a big part of feeling amazing from the inside out is starting a journey, starting a fitness journey. So if you are one of those people who are starting a fitness journey, here are three strategies that make your journey foolproof. Because as we know, life goes up and down, right? So if you have a goal of doing something for 30 days, life is gonna be up and down throughout those 30 days. And if you know these three things, this is what's going to help you stick to your goals and stay consistent and feel amazing on the other side. So what are those three tips? I'm sure you are dying to know, and they have worked for me. I have done some crazy challenges that have been difficult along the way, and these three things are going to make it so much easier for you. So number one, it is why. Why are you doing this? But we're not talking about just the superficial thing, right? Why do you wanna lose weight? Why do you wanna feel more fit? Great, answer that question and then ask yourself why again. I want you to go as deep as you can, go to as many layers as you can, five layers of why, six layers of why, meaning I wanna lose weight, great, why do you wanna lose weight? Because I wanna feel good, why? Why do you wanna feel good? Uh, because I wanna have more energy, great, why? What does energy do for your life? What does having more energy do for you? Great, okay, it's because it allows me to play with my kids. Okay, so what does playing with your kids allow you to do? What does that do for you? So continue to just go deeper and deeper and deeper, and you'll eventually get to a place that feels vibrationally in alignment with you. You're going to be like, oh, that is why. That is really, truly why. Then you write that down, and that becomes your why throughout the whole 30 days. And so whenever you feel a little bit off course, you feel tempted, to not do something, you focus on your why, and that's going to keep you going. Because here's the thing, motivation is fleeting. I'm not motivated every day. You're probably not motivated every day. None of us are motivated every day. It's very fleeting, and it's like something that we're trying to all chase. But don't chase motivation. Instead, get really clear on your why and focus on that. Okay, number two is Focus on what you're gaining. Lots of times when we're starting something new, there's something that we're probably feel like we're eliminating or we're getting rid of, right? So if it's food, definitely you might be saying, okay, I'm gonna give up um, sugar, processed sugar, desserts, whatever it may be for you, alcohol, something, right? So lots of times our brain begins to focus on what we're losing. If you continue to focus there, remember, wherever your focus goes, your energy flows, you're going to continue to focus on the negativity, and that's going to only bring your energy down. Instead, this is which I, what I want you to do, and which has been proven to work, not only for me, but for everybody who has gone through challenges or are trying to create new habits for themselves, is to focus on what you're gaining. Focus on what you're gaining. Again, the why, right? You're going to be gaining that new energy. You're going to be gaining a new sense of self. You're going to be gaining um, a feeling of self-control, about of self-regulation, of taking control back. You're going to be gaining consistency. You're going to gain confidence. So focus on what you're gaining. You're gaining a respect of your body. Saying to yourself, I'm only going to put things in my body that fuel me and that feel good to me. So focus there. As soon as you start to veer off and focus on the negative, here's one quick, really fun little trick to get your mind off of there because it's gonna go there, right? Get it off quickly. You stop, become aware of it, drop, drop the thought, and roll, roll onto something else. Roll onto something more positive. Roll onto what you're gaining and why you are doing this. Okay, tip number three is have an accountability buddy. Having an accountability buddy is huge. One time I did a challenge where if I didn't, if I missed a day with my accountability buddy, I had to pay him $500. Yes, I know, so it's a lot of money. So what is that gonna do? That's gonna motivate me to not skip a day. 
So make the stakes really high for yourself. Have an accountability buddy. Make it fun for each other so you can check in, text each other every single day, and make sure you hold each other high, meaning you know, don't sell out on each other. Don't give in and be like to the excuses. Really hold your accountability buddy high and hold the stakes really high. And then it makes it more fun. It makes it like a game and we all love to play games. So it just will make the entire experience way better. Okay, those are the three tips that will help you go through any challenge with consistency, with confidence, and with total completion. I'm really excited to share this with you because it completely changed my life when I started to live through these strategies. And I can't wait to hear from you. Comment below which tip was your favorite and how you are going to apply these three strategies into your own life. All right, I'm Action Jacqueline. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet because it helps me bring free videos like this to you to make your life better. All right, see you next time. Bye.